Thank you for joining me at Ryan Dome. In the last tutorial, we went over footsteps, sounds, and flashlight, a very simple flashlight. Since then, I've added a little bit more to the flashlight code, and uh, I can show you that here now. I've added um, a better light intensity system uh, for battery life, and I've added a display so you can see how much power is left in your battery. I'm going to go ahead and show you with the result of that. So as you can see, I have a, a battery meter up in the top left, the little green area up here. And as I play the game, the battery life will slowly decrease. A lot of you have been asking for the scripts. So I'm in the description, there's a code to a simple website that I made. You can click on that and download the scripts for free. Enjoy, use them as you please. Just make sure you credit me. Uh, that'd be greatly appreciative. So as you can see, the bar is going down and a red display is showing up behind it. That is just indicating that you're running out of power. You can also press F and toggle your flashlight uh, and you can hear the sound as well. To add it, you just go to your first person controller, uh, main camera and click on your flashlight. And it's really simple. This is what the code looks like now. Uh, the life drain, so it drains 0 0.01, uh, and it's got a max of 1, and um, these are the textures behind it. You can change these textures to whatever you want. I just did green and a dark, uh, dark brown red. Uh, just for temporary, you could make it whatever you want. You could make it a picture of a battery, whatever. It's all compatible. You just have to adjust the size and the position on where you want it. Um, so yeah, and also when the, the battery life decreases, the, um, the uh, flashlight will no longer be able to turn on. So yeah, and also a little bit when it gets towards the end, like way down here, the flashlight will go dim and eventually fade out completely. In this episode, um, we're going to create a trigger. So... Um, like a scare, a jump scare. So you'd be walking down this path, something's going to jump out behind a tree. So to do this, we're going to need two things. Number one, the texture on which, or object, that jumps out and scares you. So for that, I'm just going to go game object, 3D object, and I'm going to do a plane, just for now. And I'm going to rotate this plane so that it's in a standing up. So I can put a picture on this of like a ghost or something. Maybe I'll scale it down a little bit so it's like kind of behind the tree so it jumps out at you. Like that. That's probably good. Alright, so that's going to jump out at you. And we need a trigger for this. So when our player collides with something an invisible boundary when does this appear I'm guessing you'll be walking down the path and right about here this is probably good so near this tree I mean that will jump out and scare you jump a little bit make you like freak out so we'll go ahead and add another plane game object 3d object plane and again we'll rotate this and I will use the coordinates to make it standing straight up negative 90 and we will go ahead and add that right mm, right here that's probably good so when you hit standing right here it's gonna jump out and scare you and I'm gonna make this a slightly bigger in case you walk around it all right that's good now we're gonna add a texture so go down to your uh, assets folder and right click create material and we're going to name this, um, we'll name it Trigger. Spelt that wrong, but whatever. And we're going to click on our colors, and I'm just going to make this like a turquoise. You don't have to do this, it could be whatever color you want, red. I'm going to turn the um, visibility of it down a little bit, so it's see-through. I'm just going to drag that onto it. Alright, well that didn't work at all, but... <laughs> There is something weird going on. There's some weird light. I 
Oh, that's fine. So when you walk through this, this is going to appear, if that makes sense to you. You won't be able to see this though, it's going to be invisible. So we have our trigger, you walk through this, boom, something jumps at you and then goes away. Alright. So, let's add a script. Create JavaScript. Uh, name it trig for trigger. Double click on this and let's begin. Alright, now that we have that script done, I'm going to take a quick minute to go over what it's doing. So here we have var, we have a game object, um, we have a var player, and a var trigger variables. So we have a var scare, which is a game object, so that is the object that is going to scare you. So in my case, it's going to be a picture of a scary lady. Uh, this is it telling it if it has played or not, and this is saying if the trigger has been activated or not. So we have var scare sound audio clip and that's like holding the sound as well so we have function start it makes sure it's not visible and it resets it uh, this is when player enters trigger it sets it to true this part here enables and enables render and trigger sound and timer here's the timer and here is the sound let me just add that real quick sound all right and let's show you the result All right, now that we have that uh, that script done, what we're going to do is we're going to just click on our trigger, and we're going to go ahead and drag the trigger onto the trigger. <laughs> and uh, now what we're going to do is we got to select the thing that we want to scare them. So we'll select this little plane here. Oh, I'm going to close all these trees. All right, so we have the trigger. We're going to drag the plane onto the game object. And I've got some sound and a couple textures I'm going to use in a second to demonstrate this. but uh, Or I can just do that now. So to get a texture, you take a texture from online. Or I made this in Photoshop. Well, I took the picture offline, but made it in Photoshop. Made it transparent. Add it to a new material. Go down to transparent and then diffuse. Go ahead and drag that onto there. And now you can see I have this creepy little chick here. And I'm going to go back to the trigger. And there's a couple things we need to do to this trigger. Number one, we have to add a sound. Add component, audio source. Okay, another thing. We don't want to be able to see this giant blue trigger. So what we're going to do is there's two things you can do. You can turn off a uh, mesh renderer. Or you can delete it completely. I like to leave it toggled off in case I need to find it again. So I just do that. Also, double check. Make sure is trigger is clicked on. Uh, I have it on default, I think. Uh, for you, it probably won't be on. So make sure you do that. And I'm just going to go ahead now and take the plane, which has our scary lady on it. And I'm going to drag that into the scare section. And I'm just going to drag my sound. All right. Now let's see how this plays out. Alright guys, so that is the uh, jump scare there. Thing looks pretty cool. And uh, definitely made me jump a little bit there. <laughs> so it's working. And that's all that matters. And uh, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, if it was helpful, leave a like, comment. Uh, make sure to check out that website again. The scripts for everything will be in the website. So go ahead and check that out if you don't want to waste time copying it uh so yeah thanks for watching everybody have a good one